video will guide you on the installation and servicing of Panasonic new inverter air conditioner using R410A refrigerant easily and safely. Please follow these simple instructions carefully. First, you need to know that installing and servicing Panasonic inverter air conditioners using R410A refrigerant is different compared to our conventional R22 refrigerant. Never charge R410A refrigerant into a tank where R22 refrigerant was previously used and vice versa. When using R410A refrigerant, never reuse the same piping used for R22 refrigerant. This installation process chart will guide us throughout the installation process. To ensure optimum safety, you must understand the various tools which are necessary to be used for installation and servicing purpose. To install the Panasonic inverter air conditioner using R410A refrigerant, you'll need a level gauge, copper tube cutter, reamer, flaring tool, flaring top gauge, gas leak tester, vacuum pump, digital scale and thermometer as well as manifold gauge, torque wrench, R410A refrigerant cylinder. All the above mentioned tools are essential to ensure a smooth and proper installation process. Installation of indoor unit. And now, let's begin with the installation of indoor unit. Always perform installation works in a well ventilated environment. To begin installation of indoor unit, place the installation plate onto the wall where the indoor unit's location is desired. Insert a screw in the middle of the installation plate and screw loosely. Put a level gauge on top of the installation plate to ensure the plate is well balanced. Make sure the bubble at the level gauge is at the center of the measuring dimension. For better drainage purpose, it is suggested to tilt down the installation plate approximately 2 mm downwards to the drainage hole. Next, tighten the middle screw and fasten the remaining 4 screws to ensure that the installation plate is firmly in place and well secured. Draw a vertical line down from the edge of the installation plate. Next, draw a horizontal line to the right from the right pointed arrow on the installation plate. Note its intersection point. At these intersection points, you will need to drill a 70 mm diameter hole where the root of the piping will be fixed. Please note that drilling should be done slanting downwards. The endo outdoor unit connecting wire should be connected to endo unit first for easier procedures. To begin, the front grille should be opened. Remove the screw located at the control box cover to lift up the control box cover. Remove the clamper screw and the clamper itself. The wire is then pushed from the rear side of endo unit into the groove of the control box until its tip emerges out the front side of the control box. The wire measurements should be as shown. Pull out the wires from the groove and connect them to the three terminals as shown. 
Please note that all wires should be connected to its respective terminals of the outdoor unit based on the color indications. usage. Remove the union nut from outdoor unit for piping process usage and cover the 